All right, the next thing to do is to plot some interactions, or at least test some interactions. Moderation. So, first thing, um, make sure we've saved this mediation model. Go ahead and delete those regression weights, uh, the named ones, excuse me, the parameter constraint, delete A and B. Also, uh, click down here on the bottom left, estimating my indirect effects, and change that to do not estimate. That way we don't try to run that. Let's go to File, Save As, and we're going to create a new one, Path Interactions, Save. And now we need to add the interactions. So we have in our model, let's go over to our model, Experience, moderating the effects from playfulness and atypical use onto usefulness. So let's do that. In order to do that, we need to first standardize these three variables and then also pull in experience and the new product terms. So here we go, back to our data set. And we want to do analyze, descriptives, descriptives. And let's use atypical use and playfulness and experience, pull those in. We want to save standardized values as variables. So we're going to standardize these three, hit OK. What that's going to do is create three new variables at the end of our data set. You can see here, Z experience, Z typical use, Z playfulness. The Z does not stand for zombie, it stands for standardized, or Z score, or something like that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is multiply. So we will go to transform, compute, and, oh, here we go, A tip underscore x underscore exp so atypical times experience you may not have an asterisk in there to indicate multiplication you may not have spaces in there so something like that works here's atypical use times experience i'll show you how to get those in there with the next one i'll hit ok it's going to create that let's just do it again compute variable this time it's play times experience play times experience and let me get rid of these to show you how to get them in there. What you do is you just make sure your cursor is in here and then double click play and the asterisk and then usefulness, Z usefulness, uh, experience, excuse me, Z experience. Okay. And then hit OK and that'll create it for you. Then you need to make sure to save this data set. Go back to Amos, change data sets the one saved recently, hit OK, and now pull those variables in. So here they are at the bottom. We're going to pull in play times experience, atypical times experience, and just experience. Where is experience? Now you can, you can bring in the standardized or unstandardized um, moderator variable, but uh, it will come up with the exact same regressions either way. These two here are the interactions. Uh, they were standardized before interacting and not after. Okay, we now need to co-bury all the exogenous variables again. That is going to make a terrible, terrible mess, but I will do it because I am required to. So select all exogenous variables, plugins, draw covariances, woof. And, oh, did it double up some of those? Uh-oh. It did. Let me do this. I'm going to get rid of all covariances that currently exist and then do plugins, draw covariances. Otherwise, it doubles them up. There we go. Okay. And deselect. And let's save. This is the interactions one. Create regression lines from experience to usefulness. Play are the interactions to usefulness. Um, do I need to do regression lines from experience to anything else? The answer is no, it's just a moderator going on to these, this guy right here. So we will run this and check the output. Now you may say, well, James, what about model fit? You just told me uh, global is very important. Global tests are important and they are. So let's go look at model fit. And look at that, we still have great model fit. CFI is one. And P close is great. RMCA is less than 0 0.05, 0 0.06. So we're still good on model fit. We've met that test. Um, we need to look at the R square for useful. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit the up arrow. R square is 0.14. So it is mm, middling, but it's there. 
14 percent of the variance explained so we've met those two global tests now we can look at the indirect or the interaction effect excuse me um, for this moderation it looks like where are we these two right here we do have a significant at 90 percent confidence level significant interaction and a non-significant one um, experience on its own has no significant effect which is totally fine so we need to plot this one right here a tip times experience and uh, by the way for interactions a 90 percent confidence level is absolutely fine uh, they are often a little bit weaker than regular effects so here we go to plot this you would open up the stats tools package and go to the two-way interactions tab let me just press this over here for a sec and back to here so we need to put the variable names in here starting with the independent variable in this case for the significant interaction effect which was this one right here let's do atypical atypical use the moderator in this case is experience and the dependent variable in this case is useful even though it appears as a mediator in our model it is the dependent variable in this particular relationship the effect from the independent variable atypical use to the dependent variable usefulness is right here the unstandardized effect 0 0.044 make sure you do get the sign correct if it was negative we would have put a negative sign in there 0 0.044 from the moderator which is experience it's 0 0.007 essentially no effect that's the double, that's the bond number there 007 and from the interaction it is 0 0.0 ah, negative 0 0.046 so negative 0 0.046 and we can expand this and you can see the effect is minor yet significant um, experience dampens the positive relationship between atypical use and usefulness that is a mess atypical use there we go um, so you can see when experience is high the effect is actually negative um, so it's dampening that effect when the experience is low um, the effect is positive interesting cool so when you are a highly experienced excel user then using excel atypically actually dampens the positive relationship that's maybe not what i would have expected wow what did we theorize we theorized that experience strengthens the positive effect so we didn't just find uh no support we found uh counter not support counter evidence against our hypothesis although it was weak uh, it was 90 percent confidence level so anyway that's how you test that one and i would report this and i would report this and i would explain it um, as we did